more. I'm on it. Today's episode, Field Trip of the Just Act One, A Road Unknown. Gosh! And I mean gosh! A quarter! <laughs> uh -oh. don't know what's happening. What do you guys want to do tonight? Push kids around at Captain Clucky's beef buffet? Paula. <laughs> Speaking of kids to push around. Dude, forget her. The calculator gladiators are going to be here any minute. Go get change for a dollar. Paula. <laughs> Good heads up, E. I'll be back. Paula. Yo, Eric, what's the 401k? I mean, um, what's the 411? Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> Yo. I thought I heard toothpicks weren't allowed on campus. Yo, I heard that too. But you know what? I don't care. My smoothie! Sorry. Uh, anyway, I thought your dig in Mr. Delancey today was way fly. His haircut does resemble a homing pigeon. Uh, thanks. But where does he get off assigning you tarantula detail after class? Yo, the last thing you need to be dealing with is taking care of some stupid spider. Yeah, well, I got a stupid spider to see. Okay. Uh, holler! <laughs> holler? What do you want, Theldon? If you continue to be seen with the likes of Eric Orban, his bad habits most certainly tarnish your otherwise sparkling image. How do you know that's not what I want? Alexandria, Eric Orban's on a road to nowhere. He's a hoodlum burnout. We're better than him. Now, I have tickets to tonight's flugelhorn concert, and I was wondering, I have to go. Hello? Anybody here? Eric? Gildenstern the tarantula, belly up. Eric Orban with a chemical of undetermined origin. Well, well. So what do we got? So far, a comatose science department mascot, a mysterious brown liquid, and prime suspect number one, Eric Orban, resident bad boy. And he's not talking. <laughs> Neither is Gildenstern. Have no fear. I found a witness who's ready to talk. <laughs> OK, he's not talking yet. But when he does, this case is blown wide open. Polly want to crack this case? <laughs> huh, Polly? <laughs> Polly bit me! Orban was recently assigned by Mr. Delancey, his science teacher, to care for the science department's rare albino tarantula. Orban was also heard openly complaining about the job. Any witnesses? That would be me, Theldon Lombard, winner of the Golden Testube Award and Argyle Club founder. I witnessed everything, the whole awful event. So you actually saw Eric feeding the poison to Gildenstern? Well, not exactly, but I saw him holding the spider. And the poison! Isn't that enough? Enough to take him in. Let me tell you, Orban, it'd sure be a shame, man, if you whacked an innocent spider just to get out of the morning feed. Angry! Baking soda. Dressing. Wait. 
come out right at us. Jules? Jules? Sorry about the dog. Dog? Jules is a horse! A miniature seeing eye horse! Far superior to a guide dog in every way! Stay on it! Behind the tanker! Dog! She's not a dog! Jules is a horse! A horse! Two, a justice eluded. Gone? That monster is gone? He escaped in the back of a scarecrow delivery truck. The old scarecrow delivery truck slipper -roo? You fell for that? I'm sorry, this case hits a little too close to home. Raycliffe? Growing up, Principal Folsom had a beloved pet tarantula named Gwyneth. Gwyneth was my confidant. Kind in spirit, wise in soul, she helped me chart a course through the choppy waters of adolescence, and I shall never forget her. And Eric Orban actually thinks he can get away with this? I want you to find him, get him, and bring him back to this school and my unique brand of justice. Ingrid, stay on campus. See what you can uncover. Fillmore, find Orban. Today. An all-day off-campus platinum pass? Wow. With this in hand, you're pretty much untouchable. It's like an immunity idol. Yeah, that's what Raycliffe said. It'll prove I'm not just cutting school. Here's the address of the Scarecrow Delivery Company. Chances are, Orban's somewhere in the vicinity. Two talkies? In case one dies. Might be a long day. Polly want to confess what he saw between 1026 and 1031 this morning? Huh? Do ya, Polly? Yeah, I know what you mean. Vinegar. Hey, Ingrid, you reading me? Loud and clear, what up? I think Orban may have headed into Frugal Magoo's thrift store to ditch his vinegar clothes. How are things going on your end? Just had a powwow with Orban's friends. Interesting conversation. Listen, we'll cooperate fully. Uh, holla. What do you know about what happened to Gildenstern? What is there to know, Belty? They found Eric with Gildenstern and the poison, and he's been saying for a while how he hates feeding the tarantula. Holla. So, you think he did it? Man, Eric's one bad dude. Maybe me and Dimitri just didn't know how bad. Uh, I know. Holler. Wow. So even his friends think he did it. Ingrid, Alexandria Quarry to see you? Peace, Ingrid. Fillmore out. Freeze, Pancake! Well, if it isn't my old buddy Cornelius Fillmore, I heard you turned it around for yourself. Didn't believe it, and once again, truant officer Langley Turk is correct mundo. Looks like somebody's gotta be escorted back to school. Turk, I'm done as a delinquent. I'm a safety patrol officer now, in town on official business. Well, let's see. The belt's available in any catalog of school supplies, but you must have been pretty wily to steal the pass. Listen, I'm on the trail of a fugitive, wanted for poisoning the science lab's tarantula. Hold up, Lamb Chop. You ain't on the playground anymore. This is the real world, and out here we play by a different set of rules. Turk rules. Turk, listen. I'm giving you my word And that... I'm giving you two seconds to shut the yapper. But shush it! Oh, corn cob. You're gonna have to do better than... What the... <laughs> Sorry, baby. Today, we're playing by Fillmore rules. This isn't over, pork grind! Out of the kettle and into the corn! Straight into that corn! Yo, you are tripping, and you have to immediately step off because Eric Orban is in Osit Foshizi in DD. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Oh, mea culpa, I am completely contrite about this. Zero to nice in 3.5 seconds. What gives? Listen, Eric didn't do it. Then who did? I... I don't know. But it wasn't Eric. I know it wasn't. You have to believe me. Thanks for your time. I'll be in touch. Third. Ingrid, help me out. Yeah, could you check the phone book and tell me what's on page 42? Don't need to check. 
Let me guess. Photographic memory? Disco. Page 42. That would be the A-Ns. Everything from ant farms, wholesale, to antelope grooming. It also has a large ad for South General Animal Hospital. That's where they took Guildenstern. Disco. That's why Orban tore the page out of the phone book. You don't think... He's going there to finish the job? Maybe. Fillmore, get to the hospital as fast as you can. I'll call the hospital and tell them to keep a heads up for Orban. South General Animal Hospital, please hold. No, please, this is an emergency. A kid named Eric Orban is on his way there. He's got brown hair and probably smells like vinegar. Please hold. Uh, but... Game over, Orby. Man, where's Ingrid when you need her? It's a horse! A horse! Hey! Sophia! Come back, girl! Whoa, girl! Whoa! Yo, did you see... Going somewhere, Flapjack? A guise revealed. Let's do the rundown, shall we? Talking smack to a truant officer, tampering with an official county seatbelt. Those are just the tip of a little iceberg I call busted. Dispatch to Officer Turk. Lay it on me. Be advised that Platinum Pass checks out. As long as the kid's got it, he is untouchable. Catch you on the bright side. Let's see that pass, cornstarch. Be cool, baby. You know I got it. I showed it to you. Then why don't you show it to me again? What the? Come back! <laughs> Help! Get them off of me! Stop the squeaking! The awful squeaking! Orbin got away on a camel? Yeah, but that wasn't the weirdest part. He was just standing there, checking Gildenstern's chart. Maybe he's trying to cover his tracks. Destroy evidence. I don't think so. The way he was snooping around, it was almost like he was looking for evidence. Why would he be doing that? Unless... Unless he was trying to prove his innocence. Snap! Ingrid, I gotta see what's on that chart. Tell me about Eric. With pleasure. Eric Orban is a no-goodnik. He talks back, he cracks wise, he gives guff, and worst of all, he spreads those insidious qualities to others like some demented fairy sprinkling delinquent dust. When you say others, you mean Alexandria? Alexandria is a very sweet and impressionable young lady. <sighs> what she sees in him, I'll never understand. Is it possible Eric isn't as bad as you think he is? <laughs> Oh, Eric is bad to the proverbial bone. But don't take my word for it. I'm sure his record speaks for itself. Fillmore, check this out. According to his file, Orban's been in all kinds of trouble. But the weird thing is, Eric Orban's a straight-A student, except for science, an A+. Seems like Orban's not your typical A student. I'm going to go talk to the science teacher, see what the story is. Ingrid, hold up. What do you know about Marquesan palm root extract? Why do you ask? Because that's what was used to hurt Gildenstern. According to my web search, concentrated Marquesan palm root extract is used for natural pest control, mostly on larger insects. Only one extermination company in town uses it. Eliminatrix. It's on the corner of Springfield and Plainfield. Disco. Thanks, Ingrid. Think that's where Eric's headed? 
Only one way to find out. Two birds, one stone. If you're looking for justice, you found him. And his name is Officer Langley Turk. Now all we have to do is wait for your little friend Vilmore to show up and... Wait's over, Turk. I knew you were still a bad seed, Fillmore! Why didn't I wear my clip-on? Have a nice day, officer. And, uh, I believe this is mine. Come on, Eric. we gotta jam. You gotta trust me, man. Why'd you do it? Why'd you save me back there? Cause I don't think you poisoned Gildenstern. I think you're trying to find out who did. I checked the file. Eliminatrix doesn't deliver to X. So then, who at X would have access to Marques and Palmer extract? That's the million dollar question. There! Eric Gorbin's science tests. They're all A-pluses, yet you've given him detention 15 times this year. Care to explain? Uh, explain what? He gets A's and I give him detention, that's the story. But it just doesn't make any sense. Um, Officer Third, there's a lot in the world that doesn't make sense. Arizona rejecting daylight savings time. Braille at the drive-up ATM. Gats. Well, there has to be a reason. Eric has been friends with his pals Dimitri and Sanjay since kindergarten. His friends aren't quite as... Prone to killing spiders? Smart as Eric. Eric doesn't want to look like a good student. He wants to look like what his friends are. Delinquents. So he mouths off? But not just to look what he erroneously believes to be cool. He likes caring for the animals, Officer Third. He liked Gildenstern. And I'm certain he's not responsible for the crime. Fillmore. You'll never believe this. Not only is Eric an A student, apparently he's also an animal lover. <laughs> You're telling me. Who's the good girl? Who's the good girl? Hang tight, Ingrid. We're heading back to campus. Fillmore out. Attention workers, this is plant manager Edmund Quarry. Sorry for the alarm. Some goof nut broke into my office and set it off. I am not a goof nut! I'm Officer Langley Turner! Come on, Eric. Let's check the spot. Sorry, Fillmore. Only one of us is heading back to campus, and it's not you. Why would Eric turn on you? You think we were wrong about him? I don't know, Ingrid. He's bad, then he's good, then he's bad again. Sounds like somebody else I know. It's like something made him snap. I mean, the plant manager came over the intercom and Eric just- Crackers. Did the plant manager say his name? Yeah. I think he said it was... Quarry. Fillmore, you need to get back to campus ASAP. I know who did it, and I think I know why. Alexandria. Eric, oh thank goodness the safety patrol is looking for you. It isn't safe for you here. Yeah, they're looking for me now. But pretty soon, they're gonna be looking for you. What, what do you mean? Listen, I'll take the blame for what happened to Gildenstern. But you have to tell me. Why'd you do it? What are you talking about? Your dad's the plant manager at Eliminatrix. You're the only one with access to the chemical that was used to poison Gildenstern. I wasn't trying to frame you. I was trying to help you. I just wanted people to think that Gildenstern was sick. So they take him away. But I gave him too much. I freaked out. And I accidentally left the bottle behind. I only did it because you said you hated taking care of that tarantula. But he didn't hate taking care of Gildenstern. He loved it. What? Listen, Fillmore. I did it. I was the one that poisoned Gildenstern. Wait, Eric! You loved Gildenstern? But why did you say... Why did you act like you didn't... Why don't you tell her, Orban? Why don't you just stop the lies, man? Gildenstern was my friend. I didn't want anyone to know. Just like I didn't want anyone to know that I get good grades. Just like you didn't want anyone to know that you're an alright guy. Sanjay and Dimitri have been my friends since back in the day. Yeah, I'm smarter than them. And yeah, I love animals. They're the only friends I've ever had. They aren't into school. I just didn't think they'd understand. You were fronting, and people bought it. 
People who like you, man. People who want you to like them. Alexandria, you're gonna have to come with us. I hurt your friend, and I was too scared to confess, and I ruined everything! <laughs> Nobody messes with Texas! Check out South Carolina. Yo, South Carolina, what's the rush? You seceding from the Union or something? It's over, Alexandria. For both of us. The lies, the cover-up, all of it. <laughs> Eric, I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Looks like this state of emergency is over. A month-long suspension, six months detention, barred from clubs for the rest of the year, and school community service for the next two years. Serious business, man. I'm just glad Guildenstern pulled through. And you did too. Yo, E, are we doing this tutoring thing or what, man? Holler. Wait a minute. Tutoring? I got a jam. If Polly wants this cotton picking cracker, he's gonna tell Uncle O'Farrell who slipped Guildenstern on Mickey. Right, Polly? Right? <laughs> Ow! He bit me again! You think we should tell him? <laughs> nah. Mm, give it another hour. <laughs> <laughs>